Hello, it's Mark Matorch here from Markham 3D. And in this video, we're going to be creating an object with HP and then destroying it. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content. And if you want me to make any other tutorials, let me know. So let's start off by putting in the cylinder and we'll go here. And first things first, let's go to physics and we'll simulate physics here on the left. And when I crack this open, we can see it flies off. Now it's a little bit too light. So we'll click on this again and we will increase our menu and mass scale. Let's just bump this up to 12, let's say. From here, I'm going to click on blueprints up the top, that drop down, convert selected component to blueprint class. And I'm just gonna dump it in here and I'm just gonna call it hit target. Just something quickly. From here, I'm going to add in a text renderer and we will push this up and I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees so it's facing us when we load the game go on the event graph I want to first create hit points so hit points on the left here and change this from a boolean to an integer so it's a whole number now if I click compile hit points how many hit points does it have five so from here, I'm going to, on event begin play, set text renderer, so text renderer here. Let's get hit points and plug it into here. So if I go compile and play, whoops. If I go compile and play, we can see that there's a wonderful number five there. Nothing happens, which is okay. So we want static mesh component, if I scroll down here on the right, on component hit, we are going to cast to the first person projectile. And how do we get that? So if we come into here and select our first person blueprint, we can see that here's where it spawns, spawn actor first, per first person projectile. So that's what we're calling. So when that's spawned, we want to we only want it to get hit when it's by the projectile. So on component overlap or component hit, sorry, other actor when it's this actor. So what we want to do is we want to set the hit points, bring that over here. And from here, we want to get the hit points. So how many hit points there is. We want something to action when it gets hit. So we want to minus and go integer minus integer minus one and bring it up here. So every time this is hit, is it hit by the projectile? Well, let's update the health or HP. So get the HP minus one, and then we set the new HP. From here, let's set text renderer. And how many hit points it'll show. So if we go compile and play, five, four, three, two, one, minus one, and you can see that it's just going down. So from here, what we're gonna be doing is if it is below a certain point, something's gonna happen. Um, so branch, get. So if it is less than one, I want not for this to happen. I want this to be false. We'll move this down here. I want to set text renderer. And let's just break this because I don't want that to flow on. Um, string. Whoops, I can type string. To string dead. <laughs> All right. So compile, play, four, three, two, one, dead. And it doesn't matter how many times I hit it, it's dead. Now what we can do is actually go delay of let's say two seconds. And then what's gonna happen is destroy actor. So every time it gets hit, it's gonna check. Are you less than one? Uh, no, well then, remove a point, update the text. Are you less than one? Well, you sure am. Cool, set the text to dead. Wait two seconds, destroy actor. 
So let's compile and play. Five, four, three, two, one, dead. Beautiful. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Keeps you up to date with my content. And let me know if there's anything else you want created.